All right, everybody. I want to talk about this uh, Georgia G Day game. <clears throat> I watched some of it, not all of it, but uh, for the most part, I seen what I needed to see. But anyway, <clears throat> Brock Bowers and Darnell Washington didn't play. Two great tight ends for them guys. But, uh, you know, uh, what I was looking for was how Stetson Bennett played. And I, I just really want to see how this defense looked uh, for Georgia. Like I, I keep telling everybody, you can't take too much away from these spring games. <clears throat> now, the defense didn't look that impressive today. But that's not to say once the season starts, they won't look in, impressive. Stetson Bennett didn't look too impressive today, but that's not to say once the season starts, he won't be impressing people. So, with that being said, as of right now, Carson Beck looked like he should be the starter to me, as of right now. Uh, that's, I'm just saying, right now, on today, from the spring game, Carson Beck would, would be my starter. He went 14 for 26, 274 yards. <clears throat> now, Stetson Bennett, he, he had 273 yards. Touchdown throw, I think he had a couple of them. Uh, he went, he, but he went 15 for 35. That, that's, that's so par. You can't win with those numbers. Uh, and he had two picks. He had a pick right at the end of the half when they were about to go in to score. Uh, maybe they should have kicked the field goal or whatever, but he threw a pick at the end of the half. So, you can't win like that. Brock Vandergriff, he didn't look good at all, man. He was 12 for 26. He had 118 yards, but he didn't look good at all. And uh, we know Gunnar Stockton, he one of three for nine yards. He really didn't play that much. But uh, but I tell you what, Eric Gilbert looked good. Brock, Brock Vandergriff, and, uh, not Brock Vandergriff, but uh, Brock Bowers and uh, Donnell Washington being out. This guy got a chance to play, and he he looked damn good, Eric Gibbert. But uh, but far as the uh, the receivers, uh, Karis Jackson, he I think he led all uh, receivers with 107 yards, and uh, also Carson Beck uh, completed a, a, a 60 yard throw to Aaron Smith. So hey, that, that looked good on that part. But uh, Carson Beck, I think he was the highlight of both offenses. Uh, that's, that's just my, my opinion. He was the highlight of both offenses. As far as the defensive, they didn't impress me at all today. They, they, I mean, like I said, this is a spring game. They 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 might be head over heels come dang on uh, time for the dang on uh, season to start. But for the day, you know, they, they didn't impress at all. And I'm sure Kirby, he he didn't throw – Put out, pull out, put all his his uh, stuff out there that he's going to be doing during the season, and I'm sure they'll probably come up with some new stuff uh, during this off season and on into the fall, and um, they going to bring back some of the stuff that they did last year, and some of them, they just might just do away with it. But just for today, that's because this is all we got to go off of, and we can't take too much from it. But they didn't look too impressive today. Um. You had a lot of pass interference calls, which is expected in, in this type of shit anyway. Because these guys know it's not. It's just for fun or whatever. But uh, but it was too many uh, 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 defensive uh, pass interferences uh, called today. I think you had a couple of face masks. But anyway, and I keep telling y'all, man, Ringo, he – I know y'all love this guy because he he got this pick six on Bryce last last well in the national championship game. Y'all got this third in Ringo. But in my opinion, this is just me. Ringo is not a very good defensive back. He get burnt too much. He got burnt today. Okay? So he is not a very good cornerback. I'm I'ma say this. He is he I know he came out of out of high school as a five star. Damn near the number one receiver, I mean, number one uh, defensive back in the country. But the, in college football, as of right now, he is not 
a top tier defensive back. He is not. He got burnt several times last season. If you didn't see it, go back and look at it. He really got burnt against James Williams. He really got burnt against that guy. And he got it burned against a guy uh, against Tennessee. I mean, all defensive backs get burnt. Hell, Malachi Moore, he got his ass burnt today, too. It's not, it's not to say that you can't get better. We, I'm just talking about right now. Shit, look at fucking Eddie Jackson when he was with Alabama. Man, that dude used to get burnt up so much. Nick Saban changed his position. He went to safety, and, and he turned into a damn superstar. Getting picks all over the fucking place. Running it back. And, and doing the same shit in the NFL. But as a corner, he wasn't that good. But Kayla Ringo, he's not a very good uh, uh, defensive back right now. I'm just speaking about right now. I don't know what he's going to be next season. I, not even when this – I don't even know what he's going to be when the season starts. Shit, he might, he, he might be a lot down coming when the season starts. But he wasn't last season, and he wasn't in this A-Day game. I mean, in this G-Day game. So don't beat me up because I'm talking about Ringo. I'm not saying he can't get better. I know he was a freshman last year going into his sophomore this year. He He's going to – I'm sure he's going to improve from last year to this year and probably from this coming up season and to, in the 2023 season. He'll probably be a hell of a lot better. I'm only speaking of what I saw last year and what I saw today. But anyway, like I said, those are my only takeaways from this game. Uh, Carson and Beck right now which look like he should be a clear-cut starter. Damn, your defense, ain't, it, it don't, don't look good. It don't look good. I understand y'all lost a whole lot off that number one defense y'all had last year. Because that front seven was hell last year. I told I, I said that during the whole season, that front seven was off the fucking chain. There was some real dogs on that damn front seven. And y'all lost a whole damn lot. Y'all probably ain't got but like one or two coming back in that front seven. And I, I know y'all got, uh, I think, I know y'all got Nolan Smith coming back on the defense. I know y'all got him, but I don't know who y'all got coming back on that line, if anybody. But then was some dogs, and them other guys going to be hard to replace. And you ain't going to be able to do it in one damn season. But anyway, uh, your defense ain't what it used to be. Carson Beck should be your clear-cut starter. Uh, what else? Mm, your, your wide receivers looked all right. You need some work on your running game. But y'all did have a couple of good good runs, but still need some work on your running game. Your, your, your offensive line. Your offensive line, I know our offensive line looked look atrocious, but y'all didn't look that good either because y'all quarterbacks were getting some pressure too. But anyway, but those are my only takes coming from, from this uh, GD game. Carson Beck should be the starter. Uh, offensive line need a little work because uh, ain't, ain't shit going to work if the offensive line don't work. Trust me, we know. I was an Alabama fan know from last season. And your defense is it ain't all up to par. But you might get better. Who knows? But that's all I got. Y'all Georgia fans, don't beat me up too bad. But that's just the way I seen it. Roll time.